that was my sound of this slid. Um, I am currently getting ready. We're leaving for Halifax to meet Bendela tonight um, for the show. So I'm like packing a few last minute things, like my phone charger. Um, I have this little bag that actually has like plastic inside. So I have cloth pads in there. What? Lady Godiva was trying to get my attention. And I have this really bad habit of just traveling with all of my makeup. So I'm gonna change that. I have a little, <laughs> little makeup bag. That's really good. I can find them. into the be bedroom to pack my the rest of my stuff. But I also have like these little pads to use for the toner. Um, and I have a lip scrub in here. And I have like a hair band to pull my hair back and a sheet mask. And then I'm also packing my makeup removers. And now I'm gonna pack my makeup and then I can go. Give them nightmares. I apologize for all the glitter. Uh, one of my containers of glitter just fell apart in my duffel bag. It's like, this was like a Halloween palette, so it gives me all the vampy feels. I love it. I may bring it. And this Take Me to Brazil by Beach Cosmetics. So lots of bright colors. And there's Supernova. Which is pretty nice. But I don't think this one will. Then there's Wild and Alluring, which is like a very mermaidy one. I do enjoy this one. And there's Galaxy Chic. Which has a lot of really nice colors too. Okay, this one's gonna come with for sure. So I'm gonna open them up, take a look at them, and let's oh. see. See, these have a lot of light blue shiny colors, which I am wearing a blue dress. These ones have a brighter blue. And then these ones have very mermaidy colors. So let's say no to this one. And you know what? I can bring all three of these. My makeup packed, including my palettes, which is still probably one palette too many. But, <laughs> whatever. So that is hooked. I found a little hand um, moisturizer, which is good. So that is basically all ready to go into my suitcase. You can see my petticoat over there because I'm bringing my dress. And I am ready to go. Alright, so it's all packed, including my umbrella. And now the only thing we need to do is stop at the Dollarama to pick up a travel toothbrush. And, and I am good. And to me and then we'll hit the road. Yep. All right, we are off. <laughs> um, we're stopping at Dollarama, uh, like I mentioned, and then I realized that I'm out of Synthroid in another one of my prescriptions, so we're gonna stop at the drugstore, get that in distilled water, because I'm out of that too. And then we're off to Halifax. My hair is like really nice and curly. I use some of that like almond oil cream today and it just really nice. Now the only thing bothering me is my eyebrows are ridiculously overgrown. So I'm gonna have to pluck at them when we get there and trim a little bit. But other than that, we're good to go. We're gonna get to meet Bendela tonight. I'm excited. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> that road is really hard to get out of. Um, so she just went like floor. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, right turn right here. So yeah, we I'm excited. And uh, I have no choice. I have to go back on like strict 
no gluten, at least for a bit, because I've been on those pills for a month, so I should not be getting really bad dizzy spells. I think part of it is the gluten, because I know that when I have gluten, I do get these really bad, like, head pressure and weird, like, wonky things. So I think maybe that and the pills together is, is doing it. So I'm going to try by just cutting out gluten. We can see if there's gluten-free snacks there, because they are, like, there's, like, those rice crackers in there and stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Yeah, welcome to Nova Scotia. Takoyaki oh, yeah. and or like not Takoyaki um, yeah and they have the Takoyaki there but Takoyaki has blue yeah very red but they do have like um, octopus there and uh, that you can have like like their teriyaki is, uh, one is really good and different things like that so they've got lots of options and, uh, I'm looking forward to eating. <laughs> yeah, we're now in Dartmouth and we're heading over to Genji's to go eat. We have like two favorite sushi buffet places in Halifax. Yes, so Genji's and um, what's the other Mizu, one? Mizu, I think. Mizu, so. yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, those are our favorites. I prefer Mizu, but. Um, Elise could more easily find the address for Genji, so I'm just like, that's what we're going with. He just got home and needs to shower badly, Dylan says, so not this time. Yeah, yeah maybe we can meet him tomorrow for coffee or something. Yeah. Just to be like, hey. Hey, right. well, yeah. I'm looking forward to eating. I'm not going to film all of this, but uh, just to show you guys. I'm trying to stay gluten free, so. But like Korean barbecued pork, short braised ribs, skewers. We arrived at our Airbnb. Elise is getting their makeup done. I'm about to start mine too. The Our host is like super sweet. And uh, my nose is reaching. <laughs> um, yeah, our host is super sweet. So Elise got her little single bed here. Then I've got my CPAP stuff drying. And then we technically have the master bedroom. And this was, it's this is not like um there's different types of Airbnbs. See, this is a walk-in closet, which is kind of cool. Um it's a 
so there's different types of Airbnb. This one we're actually sharing with other people. So they're hosting us and we're living with them and then we can use their oven downstairs and st their kitchen downstairs and stuff. They're really nice. But um, <laughs> he thought that Elise was my girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe the first person thought that. Yeah. Which is hilarious because yeah, people always think that we're dating, or that we're engaged, or that we're married. That we're married. <laughs> she's not my girlfriend. She's my dad. <laughs> All right. So I'm getting. I'm starting to get ready for the show. And uh, then I will update you guys. All right, we are ready. I'm in my little dress. Elise is in her dress. We have our makeup on. And I've got my smork. So yeah, we're gonna go to the Della show and have fun. <laughs> I'd like to ask you now to please turn off all sound on your cellular telephones. And while photography and recording are not strictly prohibited, I would ask you to turn off your damn phones and stop staring at people through a screen and have a real life experience, for Christ's sake. <laughs> and now, please welcome Beverly Craig in you Inferno, a go go. <laughs> Discharge is just the price of freedom. Okay, well, first of all, hell is not about freedom. And second of all, you shot me in the butt. Please, call an ambulance immediately. I'll break a few eggs, bro. In the long term, it doesn't matter. No, it matters. My butt matters. Hey, all butts matter. What? Right now, my butt is the butt with an arrow in it. So please call an ambulance for me right away. So, so all butts don't deserve an ambulance? No, that's not My butt doesn't deserve an ambulance? No, all butts matter. Yeah. You know what? I'm calling myself an ambulance. Right, okay, except that right now my butt is the specific butt with the specific problem. Well, good luck with that, bro. My ambulance is here. H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-L-L-H-E-
De La Show. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never seen a show, uh, like a, a show by De La, just go see it. It's hilarious. Yeah, she is a pretty fabulous one-woman show, I must yeah. say. Yeah, it was really entertaining. Mm -hmm. And it's smart, too. Like, basically, this one was called Inferno yeah. Go-Go. It was a, a very intelligent subject, made it stupid. Yeah. Like, you know, Dante's Inferno. It's that literally... Nine, nine levels level of hell, hell or whatever. Yeah. It's literally, basically... Her taking us through Dante's Inferno, basically through the nine levels in of hell. In a terminally delightful way. Yeah, it. it was pretty good. And um, we met her afterwards. Yeah, we got to meet her. We went to the meet and greet. She signed my bullet journal. I gave and, her some nails. Yep. She said they were photo shoot nails, not puppeteer nails, because she does a yeah, fabulous she job, puppet. Puppet, job puppeteering. Like <laughs> her little puppets were quite yeah. something. She loved my dress as well. She was like. When uh when I said that I'd made it, she was like, "Shut up!" Yeah, we're actually just as girls to go yeah. see a drag queen. Like that's pretty amazing. Yeah, usually when we go see um, drag performers, we always end up as boys. <laughs> yeah, it's like, "Hey, who's the two deep coming at you?" Yeah, let's get and a family photo. We bumped into Justin as well, and he was his girl self as well. So it was kind yeah, of yeah. The only way he can be recognized is he always carries his signature daddy fan with him. So that's how you know it's it's yeah. daddy. He has the daddy fan. Yeah. And um, we made an Irish friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. We added her on Facebook. Yeah, the girl who was sitting next to me uh, was like an absolute sweetheart. We chatted the whole night, so we added her on Facebook. And um, we got to meet Vincent St. James or St. Uh, no, Grace. No, no, it's Vincent St. Grace. St. Grace, yeah. Yeah, I, bas I introduced myself being like, hi, I, I go by Vincent Dynamite and Drag. He's, He's like, like, we're going to have to fight. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... Sure, we're both Vincents, but we both have very different styles. His yeah. style is very clean and well done. Mine's very just like, yeah. hey, hey, and his is very theater. I love it. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've been described as theatrical, but I'm yeah. more of the dorky, goofy yeah. comedy one who's just flinging himself around. The yeah. stage. He's a lot more just, you know, clean cut and precise and well thought out. When I saw him perform at Pride, he was doing I Am What I Am. Mm. It was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, um, I, I gotta get really good at the costume reveals. For me, a costume reveal is taking off my leather jacket, revealing a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cute, though, with the, I'm not gay. I'm okay. not gay. I'm okay. hella gay. Yeah, and then it's like, gay. Gay. <laughs> I loved it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, like, so it was a lot of fun. So now we're going to go try to find something gluten-free for me to eat. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, Lebanese food maybe. And then we are probably going to go to men's because there's a drag show down I there. I think I'll drink a cocktail. I mean, usually when we come down here, you know, I'm driving a lot, but when we're taking cabs, yeah. it's like, I can actually drink alcoholic they, beverages. Um, they sometimes sell pitchers Ooh. of Long Island iced tea, so we can like, share want, one. Want, want. We can share like a whole fucking pitcher. We found, we found the coolest restaurant. We were walking on the street and got accosted by somebody to be interviewed for a documentary. Yeah, all about pro wrestling. On pro wrestling, and they suggested this place. This place is amazing. It's Mexican. There are like skulls everywhere. So let me show you. Skulls. Like, and look at the peppers. Like. This food looks amazing! Yes! I am in love with this whole horrible men's ladies. <laughs> I was just like, don't smack the thing. I am in love with like everything about this restaurant. Isn't it fabulous? I'm obsessed with skulls. The place. Look at it. It is adorable. It was amazing. <laughs> I've only been once and it's already my favorite place. Right? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna have to come here again next time we're in Halifax. <sighs> and apparently they do the Latin dancing every Saturday. So for you Latin dancers oh, out there. I'm back at the Airbnb, I'm about to go to bed. Um, we went to 
to Men's and Molly's after the restaurant and uh, we shared a pitcher of Long Island iced tea and then we just basically there's a pile of drag performers we know there so we just chatted with a pile of drag performers till we were too tired and then came back so we're now all ready to go to bed taking all my face off I'm nice and clean and this bed is not comfortable. <laughs> it's uh, I don't know, it's, it's not the most comfortable thing, and there's only one pillow, so we'll see how I sleep. Hopefully, I sleep okay. I sh I should have went with my gut and brought an extra pillow, but other than that, this was a great evening. It was a lot of fun, and. I think we're basically just gonna stop at an art store tomorrow before uh, heading back home. So, so yeah. Good morning, guys. Um, we just left our Airbnb mm -hmm. and we packed the car and we are on our way to Desserts, uh, which is an art store. And we're gonna meet up with Dylan and then head home so, I'm excited to go to Desserts um, I want to take a second look at the stuff they have and stuff I don't really have much money to shop or anything but I just want to see what they have because um, it's an awesome store so, we will see but uh, yeah this Turn is an awesome weekend world. And a little crazy, like, getting interviewed like that was weird and fun. And, uh, then having them suggest a, uh, restaurant was... Yeah, it's all worth the interview. We found a fantastic restaurant. Yeah. It's funny because, wait till I tell my Continue mom that. Continue 150 meters. Then turn left on North Street. Because I've ended up in the newspapers and on TV multiple times it just happens yeah. well if you're dressed up i find people yeah. are attracted to you because like oh that person is very interesting yeah. i should speak to them yeah and so like and it's not like i don't go seeking it it just happens and uh so like my mom finds it hilarious she's like really again <laughs> you ended up on tv again what the heck yeah and like you know like i when i did drag uh the drag story time reading um, I got interviewed for CBC Radio and then I do Canada. So I was on the radio and like, you know, so it's just stuff that happens, right? So, and it's funny because like, they're like, what the hell? <laughs> Al just In 350 meters, rolls his eyes and it's like, obviously it happened again. <laughs> He ended up on TV again. Yeah, but course. he's my husband. He's supposed to believe I'm amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, he's like, obviously, you're so amazing. You know, people should love you. Like, that's just how he is. Because <laughs> he loves me. Pass this, like, take a look. Yes. Hey, guys. So, we are at Meza. Yep. Which is a uh, Lebanese restaurant it's delicious um, I got a deconstructed uh, shawarma it's full of pickles it's actually really good and then I got some of their fries with it I got the mixed grill so I got a bit of everything yeah a lot of food I might have to share <laughs> I needed something gluten-free so that's why uh, I got this and it was really really good and I love the spices they have on the fries oh. yeah. Dylan is over there ordering food. We haven't seen Dylan in a while, so. We are now entering the Freak Lunchbox. Yeah!
just to look around, even if I don't have any money. So yeah, this concludes our weekend, and uh, I've had a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to getting home. I'm sure Al misses me, and uh, I've got some more cleaning to do and some organization to do so I can work in my office, because I've got a few commissions coming up there. But um, yeah, so if you like these kinds of vlog videos, um, throw me a like, comment down below, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, not just subscribe, but if you want to actually be told when I post like videos, hit the little bell as well, because obviously YouTube, YouTube needs that now, and uh, yeah. see you guys, and if you have an opportunity, Go see Bendela Krem live because she is fabulous. Yes, oh my God. and it is Delightful. completely different than anything you'll see like on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like her stuff yeah. is see like awesome. some of the Ru girls and their actual element being yes. able to do their own shit. Like yeah, all of them are insanely talented. They yeah. just need the right um, yeah spot for their own. It's actually shot. better seeing them live than it is on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, you because then they're given like a couple days just to come up with something on the fly yeah. that's specific to what RuPaul wants. And them. Yeah, you don't get to see them. You get to see kind of a Rue version of them, basically. Yeah, um, you see what the producers want yeah. you to see, too. Yeah, so, like, definitely give it a chance. Go see Bendela or any of, any of the other Rue girls and your local drag performers. Like, yeah. Don't you know, forget about us locals. Yeah. We need some lovins, too. Yeah, oh, my God, there's so many good performers whoa, out dude. there. Whoa, whoa, this is not a double lane. Whoa. Yeah. You are a dick. Sorry about that, guys. Some of these drivers are dicks. But yeah, like, even in Halifax, there's so many good performers in Halifax. And, you know, obviously, our gang in New Brunswick is really good, too. And it's just... Oh, yeah. Go see the, your the Halifax team. performers seem really sweet. Like, they're yeah. good performers, and they're nice people. So, yeah. they deserve your moolah. Yes. Go, go give it to them. Go tip them. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's the end of my vlog. And have fun, guys. See ya.